His body that first time was a paradox, like living grey night or silken sandpaper. He was hard and soft at the same time, coarse and smooth, heavy and light. The first thing that struck me was how warm he was, as if I had believed that his body would be cold from the inside and out, as if I hadn't wanted to believe that he was alive before now. Only later would I learn that he didn't give off any heat of his own, only absorbed that around him. For many people, uh, seeing a snake awakes uh, repulsion and anxiety, and perhaps some uh, fearful fascination. But for uh, Liv, uh, one of the protagonists of Reptile Memoirs, it's different. Uh, when she sees the Burmese python Nero for the first time, she feels uh, affection and desire, and perhaps even love. The woman and the snake is uh, such an ancient and uh, symbolic uh, relationship, going back, of course, to uh, uh, the Bible and Eve's conversation with Satan in paradise. It's also an erotic cliché, uh, this uh, sinful woman uh, with a snake coiled around her body. Uh, in Reptile Memoirs, the relationship between uh, the woman and the snake is uh, dark and uh, disturbing. And it's also completely free of an outer lustful gaze. Uh, Reptile Memoirs is uh, uh, who done it? And it's a highly plot-driven thriller with a lot of twists and turns. Uh, but for me, it's uh, also a story about uh, shame and loneliness, about uh, forbidden desires, and uh, whether it's possible for a human being to shed one's skin and become somebody else. And ultimately, it's a story about uh, learning how to love.